I'd like to start off uh, the evening with our field hockey coach, uh, Steve Connors, could not be with us tonight because he's teaching a class, but will be with us for our designated rooms at the end of this ceremony. Uh, the varsity team finished with a record of six and nine, the most wins in the program history, also qualifying for the tournament for the second year in a row. Our JV coach is Kathleen Campbell Kelly with a stellar record of 11 wins, two losses, and one tie. Coach Kelly Campbell. Sportsmanship Award goes to Lydia Lawrence. Lydia was picked as our captain for this season and carried out her duties along with Alyssa Scott graciously. She was a swing player, meaning she played both varsity and JV. Lydia attended both practices with eager and upbeat leadership. She dutifully loaded her car every day with every JV player's backpack and all their paraphernalia and paraphernalia and drove it down to the SAU building where they had practice so that the JVs could do their warm-up run from school down to the field. Her shining moments came in the Pinkerton tournament where she tore up the field playing mid midfielder like a player possessed and was bestowed the all-tournament player for, for our team in that tournament. It is my true pleasure to present Lydia Lawrence with this year's JV Sportsmanship Award. <laughs> as per the boss here, as, as the players are announced, they should start walking your way um, the Varsity Field Hockey Sportsmanship Award is to Holly, Molly Tebow. It is not a field player that was chosen for this award, but rather a player who did everything but participate on the field. As a former player who received a concussion that did not allow her to continue, continue playing, Molly did not take that as a waiver to give up the sport. At the start of the senior year, she approached Coach Connors and shared her desire to be part of the team. Her conduct was irreproachable and her attitude the same. She did, not, she did whatever she was asked and did it above and beyond what she was required. She wanted to win as much as any player wearing a uniform and never wavered in her support for her teammates. It is not often that a team manager, manager becomes such an integral part of the team, but that attribute alone is something that exemplifies what this award means and defines the type of person that Molly is. It is with great pleasure that we present Molly Tebow with the Varsity Field Hockey Sportsmanship Award. This year's Field Hockey Bulldog Award goes to Ashley Abel. These are Coach Connor's words here. In the Australian Football League, the term best and fairest is more commonly used than the term as most valuable player. Chos choosing one player who exemplifies the qualities of this award is difficult when each varsity player demonstrates so many of these characteristics. However, Ashley was given this award for her, attribute, for her attitude, her commitment, and to her team on and off the field, excuse me, to her commitment to her team and her on-field ability, excuse me. According to the term best and fairest, best is qualified by her leading the team in scoring points and assists. Fairest, is the better of the two attributes. Ashley, as, I, as Coach Connors is sure, is just learning this for the first time 
tonight as she, has, she achieved these scoring goals. And that surprise demonstrates the fairness that she has displayed on and off the field. I am not sure how to describe a fairer attribute than someone who cares not of personal record, but rather of team success. Ashley has set the standard for what is to follow, a team that will continue the success, sportsmanship, fairness, and integrity that she and the other seniors have left behind. It's with great pleasure to present this year's Bulldog Award for Varsity Field Hockey to Ashley Ava. Elects, which are the captains that were elected for next year's 2013 season. They are Tori Cull, 